Welcome back. We all know many grocery items have gotten more expensive this year, but one item has seen customers scramble at the grocery store more than the rest. Egg prices have jumped significantly this past year. Our Catherine Merck spent the day learning some of the reasons why we're paying more for the product. If you haven't noticed already, one of the big items on your grocery list has become more expensive this year. It's really a combination of factors of what drives that price. Brandon Scholes is the president of the Wisconsin Growers Association. He credits multiple reasons why the price of your carton of eggs has skyrocketed. We've hit that point where demand was so high, there just weren't enough eggs out there. He says this year's deadly avian flu has been reducing poultry flocks, on top of inflation that continues to be a problem for many grocery stores. Kevin Bernhardt with the UW Extension says this isn't the end of this sort of perfect storm of issues. But in terms of what has what the food that's hitting the store shelves now or that's available now, the fertilizer that went into that food, the energy that went into production of that food was at some of the record highest prices we've had for both of those inputs. That price gets passed on to consumers. The price of eggs can vary depending on where you go and which eggs you buy. Some stores, depending on who they are supplied from, may have, at this point in time, have a good supply, and they can maintain that. Maybe the prices from their suppliers haven't gone up as their production starts to stabilize. And maybe in another part of the state, it hasn't reached that. And maybe in another market, it's gone down even further. So it's really a combination of factors of what drives that price. Though the price tag may go up, eggs are still an essential item to grab at the store. For some shoppers, like Hillary Schwartz, this product is just part of her more expensive grocery list. I think everything's more expensive these days. I think we're just getting used to this right now, but we still need them and I still want to shop local, so I'm sticking with it for now. It's not just a problem in our state, meaning that wherever you are shopping for this product, you're going to see these prices around for a while. Go anywhere in the country, pick your favorite state, and you're going to see the same thing in the counter. You're going to see, you're going to see eggs are going to be priced. You might see some different labels, but they're all challenged the same way. Brandon Scholes says this isn't a new problem and that he encourages shoppers to continue to adjust their shopping lists just like they have during the pandemic to accommodate to these grocers that are experiencing these issues right now. Reporting in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck for News 3 Now.